we're now going to look at how to create a menu. These lists of links, which can occur on the side or in different templates, can be across the top or even the right. Here's another menu at the top here. First of all, we're going to look at how to edit the main menu, how to change these options. So if we go back from the site to the administration panel, select menu and the menu man manager, this gives you a list of the menus. You can actually select and delete menus, I don't suggest you do that at this stage. You can edit them and create new menus. And here it says how many items there are in each menu. So let's go into the main menu. Let's just go back to show you where that is. That's this menu here. We click on here. Hit the message, edit the menu items. So we could reduce the size of this menu, take some of these items out. These are just some of the default items which it comes with. I suggest when you do this you unpublish rather than deleting. Don't put them in the trash to start off with until you really understand the system. Unpublish them. Here you can see there's now a cross on the published section. Let's go through, press refresh on the site, and there you can see we've now got a much shorter list of options. Now let's see what we can add. Okay, so let's go to a new item. The, sense, the simplest thing to add is a content item, one that you've created previously. You can add sections. You can add placeholders to divide up your menu system when you're a little more advanced. Let's look at content items to start off with. Go to next. Again, remember not to navigate away from a page like this. If you don't like it, cancel it. Let's go to next. Now we've got a list of the content items. Now we were looking at we were making an article on full size golf umbrellas before. What are we going to call it? We can actually decide on the menu name. Let's call it golf umbrellas. It's an option. We could just call it golf because it's an umbrella site already. We can have a picture that is associated on the menu bar, but you normally want to make a small picture, a little icon size picture for that. A unique item ID is often a good idea. You'll find out as you develop the site, you'll find why that is. It allows you to uniquely find the menu items in the future. You can decide where, when people click on that menu item, what's going to happen. Is it going to come up? in the browser in the normal way, this is what we normally suggest, or do you want a new window to pop up either with as a full web browser or just as a little box without any browser uh, navigation? Generally the answer is going to be parent window with browser navigation. You can decide where it's going to occur on the menu, who can get to it, whether it's the general public, registered users or use it in a special class which is a more advanced function and you can decide whether that menu item is going to appear now by saying yes or whether it's going to be held in reserve so that you can only later on when you publish it it will appear okay so here we are we're going to save that and we see it at the bottom of that list press refresh and here it is at the bottom of the first list this is one set of menus this is actually a completely separate menu okay we might want to have that right at the top it might be that golf umbrellas is the number one thing you want to represent let's just press one there and press the save button may conflict with the home there, yes. You can see conflict with the home. Let's put that as two. And that is one. We're going to swap those over. Press that again. 
now it's up to the top. Let's go back to the site, press refresh, and there it is at the top. And in fact, if you click on that, it will get through to the unique page for that particular article. It happens that we are showing that article on the home page as well, but that wouldn't necessarily be the case. Okay. We can actually do that for any of the other menus. This is the top menu, it occurs just across here. You may have to deduce from menu names exactly where the menu is going to occur. There are other ways to find out, but uh, that's the quick and easy way. So we could add a new item at the top here. Again, a content item, because that's the simplest and most logical way of adding things. Let's add another one about golf umbrellas, let's just call it golf this time. And this time we're going to have a new window without browser navigation, just so that you can see what happens in that case. Just save. Let's go through to this page. Refresh again so that we can see the changes. There it is, golf. So if I were to click on the option here, we should get a normal window. The golf umbrellas section replaces the main content in the normal way of navigating. If I press on this one though, it's going to pop up without in a special window. Can you see that? Pops on a special window with no navigation. This is a fairly specialised thing, but if you wanted to show a picture and you didn't want people to be using this as a website or an article which has limited options. <laughs>